Hi everyone, um, back in the kitchen again. Um, I'm gonna be making some pizza for supper tonight. So I'm gonna take you along with me and show you how I make my pizza. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet already, please hit the subscribe button. It notifies you of our videos uh, when we put new videos out, which will be every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and the occasional Saturday. Let's get to it. Okay, so this pizza recipe, it will make one extra large pizza. Uh, basically, you just need one cup of warm water, uh, one pack of active dry yeast, and if you don't have a pack, and you have like a container like I do, it will tell you. Mine says here uh, that one eight gram package is equal to two and a quarter teaspoons. Uh, you'll need two cups of flour, two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of salt, and tea, uh, two teaspoons of white sugar. So the first thing you'll want to do is take your one cup of warm water, uh, two teaspoons of sugar, and your two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. Mix it together and then let it sit until the yeast rises. Okay, so after about 10 minutes, uh, your yeast, water, and sugar mixture uh, should have risen. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell here, but uh, the yeast has pretty much bubbled up all on top. Uh, now you can um, mix together the rest of your ingredients. <clears throat> so in medium or large bowl, uh, two cups of flour, you want one teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of olive oil. And then pour in your uh, yeast mixture. And then you want to mix it all together. I use this. It's more or less supposed to be used for like cutting butter into dough, uh, into flour, but I just find this makes it easier, less of a mess. You can mix it with a spoon and then uh, beat it together with your hands until a stiff dough forms. So once you have your dough formed, you want to cover it and let it rise for about half an hour. 
roughly till it's double in volume. And then as you're waiting, um, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and you can get the rest of your uh, pizza toppings uh, prepared. Uh, your pizza sauce, uh, cheese, pepperoni, whatever toppings you want to add to your pizza, this will be the time to get it ready. Okay, I have my shredded cheese, which I shredded myself from a brick. You can use store-bought shredded cheese, or uh, you can even uh, shred the cheese with a food processor if you have one. Uh, I put mushrooms and pepperoni on our pizzas. You can use whatever toppings you like, whether it be you know olives, peppers, um, any other sort of vegetable. Uh, but now I'm going to make a pizza sauce. I found a nice recipe and I will share it with you. It uses one can of tomato sauce, one can of tomato paste, garlic salt, a garlic powder, uh, black pepper and oregano. Uh, so you can use this recipe I have that I'm going to show you or uh, whatever pizza sauce you prefer. Uh, so we start by mixing both the tomato sauce and the tomato paste together. Uh, because the tomato paste is so thick, you want to get it mixed in well. Okay, so after you have those two sauces mixed together, you're going to have one to two tablespoons of oregano, a half a teaspoon of the garlic powder, half a tablespoon of garlic salt, and a quarter teaspoon of the pepper. There you go. That is the pizza sauce. Uh, now this recipe for pizza sauce is enough to make two large pizzas. I will uh, put the recipes for both the pizza dough and the pizza sauce in the description below. And if you have any other suggestions or modifications, I'm open to trying new things. Uh, comment below. Okay, now once you've let your dough sit for about half an hour, as you can see it has pretty much doubled in size, you want to uh, turn it out onto a lightly floured surface. going to roll it into as best of a circle as I can.
Now the dough is going to be pretty sticky so I just put a little bit of flour on the rolling pin, um, a little bit on top of the dough so it doesn't stick too much to the rolling pin. Okay, once I have it rolled out, I will put it onto a pizza pan and then add my toppings. Uh, you don't want to make it too thin or else it'll get crispy really fast. Uh, I like to have it mm, maybe a quarter of an inch thick, quarter to a third of an inch thick because uh, it will puff up a little bit when it cooks or bakes. Uh, so to transfer it I just sort of fold it into a quarter I also uh, pre-grease or pre-oil the pizza pan so it doesn't stick when I am trying to get it off so I unfold it and now I'm ready to add my toppings. All right, the piece is all put together and now I'm going to put it in the oven uh, for about 20 minutes or until the crust gets a nice golden brown. For me that sometimes takes about half an hour. And there we go, that's our pizza. Uh, thanks for watching. We're gonna go sit down and have a nice supper. See you next time.